I'm Ken R. Scott, your narrator. One of the duties for a security officer is to prepare an incident report. Incident reports should be a comprehensive document so that anyone reading it will understand what happened. Most incident reports involve the statement of a victim. Therefore, knowing how to interview is very important. Techniques and procedures for interviewing is what this training video is all about. Most snatch and grab crimes, like the one you're about to see, take less than 30 seconds. In this demonstration, a woman puts her groceries in her car and returns the cart to the storage area. When she returns, she observes someone stealing a laptop computer from her car. The thief sees her and drives away. I have a woman at the Big Star Shopping Center who says the man stole her laptop computer out of her car. I need police assistance. 10-4, post-421, police will be notified. Please advise me when police arrive. Officer, I saw the whole thing. The officer needs to get the witness's name just in case he leaves. He then needs to separate them so one person's statement will not influence the other. Now he needs to follow the five W's and H rule. Who was involved? What happened? Where did it happen? When did it happen? Why it happened? How did it happen? You said there was a woman driving the car. Can you describe her? It was a woman, that's all I could see. Is there anything else you can remember? No, that's all. I'm sorry, I'm just so upset right now. I understand, just try to calm yourself. You're safe now. Is there anyone you want me to call? No, I'm all right. I, I'm sorry, I just can't remember anything else. The police have been notified and they're on their way. Do you mind waiting a little longer? No. Post 421 to dispatch. Go ahead, 421. Need a report number? 421, your case number is 1330. The security officer then goes on to get her address, telephone number, and description of the laptop, etc. You should try to minimize the victim's anxiety, establish and maintain a friendly atmosphere. Ask the victim or witnesses to recreate the incident. Ask follow-up questions to get additional information. Ask questions to fill in the gap. As long as you know what you wrote, you can correct it later. Just like in the video, have them tell you in their own words. Interviewing techniques are not just the words that are said. It's the voice tone, the voice inflection, facial gestures, body language, posture, hand and head movements. Avoid making judgmental comments. Interview questions. Here are a few sample interview questions that will be asked in the case of a theft or a robbery. Tell me what happened. If they answer, this guy robbed me, that wouldn't be sufficient. Follow up with a question that will require detailed information, such as what did he look like? How tall was he? Describe what he was wearing. When did you witness this incident? Do you know the victim? Did you talk to the victim? Do you know the suspect? Did the suspect say anything? What did you see? What did you hear? How many suspects were there? Did the suspect have a weapon? How did the suspect escape? Was there a vehicle involved? What kind of vehicle? What color? Did you get a tag number? There are many more, but I'm sure by now you get the idea.